Hello and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and in this episode we are going to talk about a Windows 10 mobile topic in this case again because yeah it's a sad day more or less but uh, the store is no longer working on Windows 10 mobile smartphones. Um, yeah the day was uh, predicted to come and uh, it took a long time that that happened and um, yeah, in this episode, I want to talk about what that means, if you can still download apps for your smartphone, and if so, how to. Um, yeah, just to let you know about it, Windows 10 Mobile, round about end of February, starting of, of March, it depends where you are and so on and so forth, but around uh, about that time, the smartphone app is still functional, but it will show you if you click on one of the of the icons there yeah, just a blank page. So in the end, it's more or less officially deprecated or whatever. And like that, as you can see here, Windows 10 Mobile App Store official dies for real this time. Yeah, probably just just talk about it. But um, in the end, yeah, uh, it's really like that. People are talking about it on Reddit and other other informations here. As you can see, we have a couple of different informations about when was it all uh, released, when uh, when was the last time something was updated, and so on and so forth. And after a while, as you can see, um, you can from the home screen can't access the pressure section of the of the uh, store anymore and stuff like that. So it's more or less over, which is really a bummer. But let's talk about what we can do about it. So, in the end, if you are really hardcore, you can use this uh, this option I'm going to show you in this episode to really in uh, install stuff that was pre-compiled, of course, for Windows 10 Mobile. So if you are trying to uh, install something that was for the desktop or whatever and only for the desktop, then it's still not functional with this method. There are other possibilities. Please have a look at the corner up there or in the description box below to see about those kind of stuff because there are options to install for Windows, uh, for instance, Windows, 2, uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10 uh, ARM on your smartphone. But that's a different topic. We are not talking about that at the moment. So let's say you have this kind of app that you want to download. For once, you can of course get all the different links from my video descriptions in general. So we have a lot of different episodes. Just go down below there, you will find the download links there. And those are very, very handy for you because we can now open it up like this. Or you can of course search here if you want to on the desktop page. So just to let you know, I am using my laptop at the side here. We are watching that on my laptop at the moment. And what you can already see here is I have yeah, just one example app, more or less. It's Brick Out Shoot the Ball. And let's say I want to get that on my smartphone. First off, you will have to have a link like this one. So for instance, in this case, um, the link here, you should copy it out like this. So just go to your, your part there, copy that link out, and you will need this later on. Um, if you have this link now, you can go to one interesting page. It's a little bit hacky and messy, if you ask me, but it's working. And um, so, uh, just to let you know, it's this one. It's more or less called um, rgedgar.net. It's something that even Microsoft is more or less promoting, not actively or something, but um, the interesting part about it is, as you can see, some of the people here on the Microsoft community talked about it and this one was what they are talking about. And down below here we have an advisor, it's an independent advisor, but still it's an advisor by Microsoft, which tells you that this page is not an officially Microsoft web page, but it's a fully functional and useful website and it's safe more or less. Um, be very careful about those statements if you just read them on the internet, but it seems like this website we are talking about um, is just giving you the download links from the Microsoft Store. And that's very important, so please be aware that you are, have to watch out for the domains you are seeing in your, your links there. So um, if we go over to that page, which is this one, um, very messy page looks 
pretty pretty bad, but in the end all you have to do is now copy in what you co uh, the link you copied before. So just go in here, put it in there, and as you can see we just copied it in. And after that you just have to click this little button. If you do that, it takes a little and now some kind of a crawler is going to give you a couple of different links. And those links, if you just go over them, you will see this little small information down below here. And as you can see, there are a couple of different things, but it's an official Microsoft.com link, which is a good thing. Um, if you're seeing that, it's probably from Microsoft itself, so it's, it's a good thing. Um, so be very aware that you have to have this base URL Microsoft.com and there don't try anything else to download. If, if some other, uh, other thing is going to be shown here then don't download it. I haven't experienced that before but I just want to be cautious about it and tell you about it. So be very cautious and of course it's all on you if you are trying this out. Um, so I want you please be aware of all of this. Um, but what you already can see here is we got a couple of different um, downloads now with different kinds of links here. And um, as you can see, they are quite large, some of them at least, some are not. And um, you have a couple of informations about all this. The interesting part, what we are looking for now, is more or less that you get the right version of your download. So if you, for instance, have a look at this, um, this is a brick, uh, brick out shoot the ball game we are trying to download at the moment. And of course then there is this kind of, of version number and there are a couple of other information shown here. One of them is for instance that this one is an ARM version. ARM is something we are watching for or looking for because we are talking about Windows 10 Mobile which is an ARM32 system. So not the 64 version, the 32 or without any kind of information, that is the one we are watching or looking for. As you can see, we have now a couple of different files here. There's a block map, there's an APX, um, and there are a couple of other things we have to download. So in the end, have a look at that. If you see APX at the, at the uh, end there, or you see an APX bundle, for instance, could be fine too. Um, if you see those, these are more or less the apps you are, uh, you are watching for, so or the version of the app you are, what, uh, you are searching for. And please have a look at the, uh, at the part there, the biggest files, so something like this for instance. This is an, a bundle, we are not going to download this, would be great, but that would be something you can only use on your PC, we don't want to use that. Um, in this case, you would have to download probably at least those two and then just search for the other apps here because um, the Windows 10 mobile app, uh, store is not providing only one package or something but sometimes there are dependencies uh, in there which you still have to download. So in this case if you download the right version which I told you about before so get the ARM version, this one for instance get down below here the UV desktop one, which is this one in this case, download them all, and now we will have to transfer them over to our smartphone. Why are we not doing this on our smartphone? For some kind of reason, this website, which could be much easier in the end, but uh, yeah, the problem is this website does not work on your uh, legacy browser, the Edge browser, on your Windows 10 mobile smartphone. That's why I'm not using it. If you have, for instance, a different browser installed, there were a couple of them and they work, just use them. Um, at the moment, we don't have another option but using our laptops if you don't have any kind of other browser on your smartphone there. Okay, so um, if you downloaded that, then you can go to your um, to your give me a sec. Yeah. We'll have to go out here. You can just uh, go to your smartphone and of course use something like this. So I just have a USB-C to USB-A connector at the, at the moment here. And I'm just going to connect my a connector to my laptop here in this case. Give me a sec that I have done that. And after that you are going to use your smartphone, so get that one. 
and connect it to your laptop link we saw there. And yeah, the cable is a little bit low, sorry for that. So use this one, put it in here, and now you should be able to see sooner or later at least your Lumia device. It sometimes takes a little till that is going to be there, we will see, but you can see something is working up there. So after a while, if this is gone, you see there is a Windows Phone entry. If you click on that, you can see your phone internal uh, memory and stuff like that. And in here, there are downloads in this case. What I just did, I did it before, so I downloaded all the different files here. As you can see, that are those. And um, in the end, this is a different uh, uh, app I tried out. It didn't work because it's the best of version. But if you use these kinds of, of uh, parts here, just copy them over to your smartphone. So if you do that, just copy and paste them to somewhere on your smartphone, for instance in the download folder as I did. And as you can see, we already have them all in here. And after I did that, now you can disconnect your smartphone. And I'm just going to reconnect to my part here, just to show you what's going on. I'm going to switch over to my smartphone in this case, on the other channel of my TV in this case. And as you can see, we are now on the smartphone in the Windows 10 Mobile UVP mode. If you know, go down here to your all apps list in this case, or wherever you are, you have your file explorer in. Um, for me, I have put it into a folder in this case here, and I can just access it like this. If you go in here, now you can see the files are on my, my part in the folder. Downloads, of course, I put it there. And now you just have to more or less click one by one all of these parts. Maybe you should start with one with the smaller parts because this is a real game. And these are the de uh, dependent C's more or less. So you need those to run the game. So first off, install them. If you click on them, do that. Go in. You might see something like this on the big screen, but on the smartphone itself, you can see app installation. So, would you like to install the app? Um, and if you now click that, you will not see anything that's normal. So, just leave it like that. I'm going over to the next part. Same thing make sure that it's going to be installed on your smartphone. So I click on that again and it should be working. Maybe I'm going to mirror my, my view in this case, just to give you an option to see everything. Give me a sec, I'm just going to switch over the modes. Here we are. And now if I just go back there, oh, interesting, didn't know that I could just switch out of that again by, by going back, but not helpful at the moment. Anyway, if we go over there, back to our file browser in this case, as you can see, you can see now everything that is on my smartphone here. And just go in and as you can see, app do you want to install the app more or less? So install it. Yes, I want to. And I will do that with the third one too. After you did that, you should see that there is a new new in, in uh, brackets there, Smart, uh, part installed. So if you did everything of that, um, you should be able, give me a sec. Maybe I didn't click, yeah, the, the app itself, I didn't click that. So let's install that too. After we got all the other packages, we can just click on that now. And if you go back to your our apps list and there we are. It installed and we now have our new icon here. And yes, it's playable. So if we click on that, it starts up. It takes a little, sometimes it breaks down because it's this app, which is not the best one, I would say. But in the end, um, it seems to be working. You can install in this way all the different apps you want to. If you still have the link or you can find the link on the internet somewhere, then you should be able to start it. And as you can see, the app is now running. 
and we have a functional app with the game we can play on. As you can see, everything is working, touch controls are there and we can play this app if we want to, like any other app you would install from the, no, from the Microsoft Store because it's more or less the same app. You are getting exactly the same stuff, but it's from this, yeah, a crawler that is more or less uh, crawling the Microsoft Store and giving you other options to download it then. But in the end, it's more or less the same as downloading it from the store itself. Yeah, and this is more or less what I wanted to show you in this episode. So I'm not going to show you three different games or whatever, what we do in general here. But um, in this case, I just wanted to show you how to get apps from the store. And you can still get it, but it's pretty, pretty messy a little bit. I, I can understand everybody who, uh, who doesn't want to go through all the hassle. If you don't want to, um, yeah, consider Selfish OS, for instance, as a smartphone uh, uh, operation system, which is European based, which is uh, data protection enabled. You will be able to yeah, get rid of all the, all the other players out there. So something like Google um, or other American or whatever kind of uh, players out there are not involved with this, uh, uh, this smartphone uh, bit operation system, which can still be used to install a case on it. So in the end, you can still get all the uh, different apps on the different stores, like the Play Store and stuff like that, install that and just use that. But you are still more or less yeah, the guard over your privacy. So you can really uh, more or less be pretty sure about that all your data is staying at your place. And that is what Selfish OS is all about. If you want to know more about Selfish OS, I put a link up there. Um, so please have a look at that. There's a video where I'm talking more in depth about Selfish OS and all that is involved with that. And um, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you around at the next episode probably. And yeah, have a nice day. If you like this video, please give it of course a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I would be very grateful. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching. See you around and bye. Bye.